Good morning. It is Friday. TJ, can you say it is Friday? Friday. It's Friday. <coughs> he wakes up in a good mood, and that's something I can say I really love about him. TJ, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. It's the last day. Can you say that? Friday. Okay. Well, I have someone coming to shadow. Let me get all this clear. My mother-in-law knows a nursing student, I guess, that works with her at, like, her job. She works in a colonoscopy suite. And um, she asked me to do a favor to see if I can expose her a little bit more to the medical field to see, you know, what her next steps and careers will be for her. So I'm going to let you meet her, see if she's comfortable just chatting. And she's coming to the office. Um, but I may be able to even show y'all some footage of TJ and I getting ready, depending on how fast that goes. TJ, you tell the vlog hello. Hello. Can you wave to them? And give them a kiss. Besitos. That's not a kiss. Give them a kiss. Give them a kiss. So sweet, baby. How can you not love him? Okay. <laughs> Who made like this organic food for the baby? Good. Um, he wants to put it in the toaster himself. Here, put it in the toaster. This is him putting it in the toaster. Um, good, you did it. You did it. Okay. So he, I thought I was gonna be one of those moms who did like that organic food, and I'd be tired. And maybe anybody drop down below um, suggestions. Okay, baby. We have to let it cook. Can you say, I am patient? I'm patient. Okay, he's patient. So, um, I thought I would be much better at, like, giving him the most healthy food. But this is what he's having. Power protein, waffles, and some turkey sausage. That's all I can do. That's what I'm giving. Maybe... When Trauma moves back and have a little bit more time, I'll do something else. But it is what it is. <coughs> All right, let's go put your put your sausage in the microwave. One thing I can say about my office is everyone is friendly. Love walking in. There's so many good mornings. Hey, how's your weekend been? Such such great positivity. Okay, I got through Atlanta traffic, made it to work, and it was crazy this morning. Like, usually I'm kind of a slow, steady pace, but this morning was like patient, patient, patient. But you know what? We said 2023, I'd be booked and busy, and I'm not complaining. So, you know, it was all good. So, I told y'all also about um, me having a nursing student coming to kind of shadow and get some credit requirements for her um, coursework. So I'm gonna let you meet her. Hey y'all, this, this is This is Christy, she's been great. And she'll be here for over the next couple months and you'll kind of see her in and out of the videos. We have been busy, like I said, we've done some pap smears. We've done, what else have we done? Looking at some fetal, listening to fetal heart tones, or some pelvic exams, so some I, oh. Thank you, Christy. We did an ID insertion. So um, it's very important if you're watching this vlog to go get your annual. It's January. Go ahead and get booked because if it's been several years and you haven't had a period and you don't know why, that's a problem. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll check back with y'all because I have some stuff also going on at my house. They're coming to finally put up the TV. And then I'm going to show y'all what it's like to be in 
a midway fixer upper house. It's kind of glamorous, but bad at the same time because a contractor is coming to help us get the washroom together. So I want y'all to kind of see the stages of that. Um, I have a lady I use for everything in the house. So she she's going to come by the house and y'all can kind of help me with some ideas for what to do with this room. Look who is back in town. How does it feel to be back reunited with your family? It feels great. Okay, how So his mom is in town, or not in town, is here for the night. So we are going to go out and um but she didn't want to pick up these sticks. What? What are what do you mean? The the game? So he bought this um old school, what do you call this, babe? Um it's like a retro gaming system. So this will be occupying his time. When he's here in Atlanta, he actually isn't working. So what do you call yourself when you're here? I'm a house dad. A house dad. Stay at home. So we're racing to see who can retire first. <clears throat> and right now, he's winning. So I am coming outside the house because we are getting our laundry room redone. And when we had to think about what room to do, I never thought we'd be getting the laundry room redone this early, but Honestly, this has been a thorn in my flesh for months. This is the war zone. And this is what we have going on. This is Nancy. She's the queen of this whole operation. And what we're trying to get built is a, is a bench to look like a locker. And it's kind of short. Because, um, I forgot to get two handles when I bought this extra one. Yeah. Do you want to just use that for something else or do you just you want to get it? Do you think it'd be tall enough for this piece? Mm. Let's ask Nancy. What do you think, Nancy? Yeah. Let me tell you one sign that you are officially in. <laughs> me, in your adulting phase, when you are at Lowe's almost every two weeks for home improvement projects. And to be honest, I love it. I really do. So while they're there fixing up the rest of the laundry room, I'm about to go pull out or pick out some cabinet pools. So let's see which option looks best. I'm gonna help you, have y'all help me decide. So we have a lot of different options. I'm looking for black ones, more specifically to kind of keep up with the decor of the cabinets. Um, the ones we pulled out already are a little bit too big. Pause. Never did I think that Mary J would be good background music for picking out knobs, but she actually works. Well played. Love these. Okay, never mind. I guess everyone else does too. There's no more. Got the goods. Let's see how it ends up. I'm so excited to see the finished product. Um, and honestly, this literally needs to be it. I mean, investing into your home is a wise um, thing. However, we've been like draining our money from all these projects. So this will be it for a while. So this is the lovely work we're doing so far. It's amazing. <gasps> I bought another sink, they put it in. Oh, the barn door. Oh, I absolutely love it. My goodness, such a transformation. I'll show y'all the whole view when it's all finished. This is the garage. We're gonna clean it up eventually. Here she is, so much better. I mean, my God, there's room for us to put all of our shoes. I'm in love. I'm literally in love. So much better. Saturday. And I debated on even showing y'all this aspect, but you know what? It's Ray's world. And I said, I'd be transparent on this thing, but this is my current view. Um, this crazy, crazy toy room that I need to get organized for him. 
But essentially we are bunkering down this weekend. I'm really said that I was gonna try to potty train TJ this weekend. So I saw all of these things on YouTube or people who believe they're, believe they're parenting experts, whatever, that said that you could potty train your child in a weekend. And I'm honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I've been pressured into it prematurely. Um, I've talked to pediatricians, I have friends that are pediatricians and some people, some kids just don't potty train right away. like. The amount of people I've heard, oh, well, you know, my baby was less than one and that's great for your baby, but that baby ain't my baby. So I've had to kind of refocus and recenter myself and let myself realize that their journey is not my baby's journey and I will not be pressured into anything. But anyways, that's just my little rant because I hate when people compare children and try to make your child their child or give you unsolicited parenting advice. So I will not do that on here. But anyways, I um, am going to try this method, this three-day method, where you essentially ask the child over and over to tell them, tell you when you want to go potty. And you have to put the underwear on them. So it means a lot of accidents, a lot of messes, um, where they're soaking the underwear and they get an uncomfortable feeling and that encourages them to go. So because I don't want um, a lot of urine, urine all over my stuff. Here he is. Um, like my furniture upstairs, we just decided to kind of come down to the basement. So this is what our little setup looks like today. This is the toy room and then kind of our little lounge room. I put his comforter on the couch so that if I'm sitting here watching TV, he's here. If he has a little accident, we can run to the bathroom. So then it's kind of a walk, so I'm gonna have to play with it. But I have his toilet set up here next to the other toilet. And so we'll be going a lot, doing a lot of back and forth. I told myself that I was not going to go anywhere this weekend because this is my primary focus. But I'm gonna have a very optimistic look on this, give him a lot of praise and reward whenever he does actually make it to the potty. And essentially, have a lot of patience. So, for all you moms of toddlers who are in this phase, I'm with you, I see you, and I honor you, because this is gonna be a journey. So, we've already made one accident. Cheese. He's saying cheese. And I couldn't catch it. I, I mean, these things, I thought he was gonna pee through them. But, these underwear are actually really absorbent, praise God. Um, so he peed in it and I didn't know. You gonna tell mommy when you have to potty? <coughs> sit down, sit down. Ooh, no. Last weekend, sit, sit, sit. No. Show, show me how to potty. Hey, show mommy how to potty. Hey, show mommy how to potty. Okay, you see a baby butt. The great thing about your mother-in-law being in town, or I keep saying that, being in your house for the evening is that you get to have impromptu day night. So I'm about to throw on a quick face and we're gonna go to dinner. is one of those things that I just literally wish I knew more about. Those girls who can go from like zero to 100 real quick with their face. I just, I envy you because sometimes I like do a whole face and I'm like, wait a minute. It doesn't even look like I put on any makeup. He's on his way to find an outfit. This is the final look. This is all I have to give. And I think the lip kind of helped a bit, but this was this is what Tron's gonna see on the other end of the table. And I think he'll think his wife is cute.
because the door is open outside. So we're gonna go ahead and get the check in me, but it's been a good time. We had some good conversation. y'all to see how potty, potty train is going tj and his boxes come here come here what's going on in here come on why is this in the toilet and not your pee pee why is mr tiger in the toilet huh? why is mr tiger in the toilet the tiger doesn't belong in the toilet no, he doesn't. He's sad. Sorry. Tell him sorry. Sorry. Okay. Bye-bye, Tiger. I just took a shower. My house is a mess. But let me brag on my husband. This is not a rare sighting. I mean, to come downstairs and he's putting the dishes up with a, with a fatty. Hey. You know, I'm blessed. I really am blessed. Tron is probably the cleaner one in our relationship, honestly. And um, I thank God for it every day. How did you get this way? <clears throat> what was Ray's prayer? What was Tron's prayer? My mom, ain't no lady that me kind of hoe cooking and cleaning for you. She got me working too. That's true. And look, your mom spoke it into existence. And... Now look, my mom wanted one of them feminists. So, mother-in-law, thank you so much. You have raised a good son, a good husband, a good dad, a good homekeeper. And we're all blessed for it. Feminist. One of our favorite things is finding local eateries near our house, which is one of the reasons why we pick to live where we live. Not only is it close to my job, but it's just a good area for like restaurants, five minutes, not even away from the house. So it's a quick turnaround. And we love it. We are foodies to the core. We about to turn. I really try my best to have him read books instead of the iPad during okay. dinner, but honestly, it's okay. just hit or miss. What's this? What's this? Strawberry. Strawberry. Good he job. He said strawberry. What is, what is this? Apple, Apple, good, good baby. What is this? Orange. Orange. Good job. What's, What's that? This is horrible. What's that? Banana. Banana. Good, good, good Bubba. Tomato. Tomato. Good job, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. We just got home and this is real life, Saturday night. Um, I'm two margaritas in and the house gotta be clean. You know, I'm feeling the beat. Check it, check it, check it, check it. I'm two drinks in and I'm feeling the vibe. Gotta get going, gotta stay live. Gonna keep hype, gonna check my vibe. You know how I do it Saturday night. I'm gonna clean up the flow. Let's see if I can do it some more. Yo, you know how it go. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, Tron is putting the baby to sleep. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sweeping the floor. 
So after I do this, I'm probably gonna get some sleep, back at it again. And um, I actually got a lot to do tomorrow. I have to finish my notes from clinic from the week prior and put together a presentation. I'm excited for y'all to see what I'm doing next week. Um, and edit this vlog. It's been a, a learning process to say the least. I'm definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, but that ain't gonna stop the show. So this is just a word to the wise. If y'all are in that season of uncharted ter territories, territory, excuse me. We got it. We got it. Y'all, I want y'all to see this fine man that just pulled up. Wait, hold on one second. Let me see. Don't be, don't be suspicious. Look, look, look. Ooh, even sexier, Karen. The trash can. Let them see you. Let them see you. Let me kiss you. I need a you look good. Look at him. Have a good day. Here is my car point. We are ready to go. I should have ironed my white coat, but this is exciting.